Hey, people, Indrid here, 3v3, Katrina Purification Plant, blue team. Show it's Kasuga 7 with an Inquisitor, offensive hero with powerful control abilities, begins in melee but can get specialized ranged weapons. We have Mordian Iron Guard, recolored, black and grayish. Alongside Xenotech with a Farseer support hero fighting in melee combat, powerful buffs and control. And rounding off the blue team, Triumph with a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat, some powerful disruption and support. What is this? Same Han recolored? I think it is. On the red team, Bully Maguire, also known as Hunter with a Hive Tyrant, a very durable Power hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed man. with powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Carlos. Alongside Bum 9 as a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption. Just happy to cap the power there. Didn't actually lose that much, not even half health doing that. Maybe it was worth it. Black Legion, of course. And rather than off the teams, Inokura with a war boss, a melee hero walking through objects, very strong offense, disruption, and support from the front lines. The top knot fellas is this Death Skull, as I think it's called. On the west side is the war boss. Nobody's bothered to grab the VP, pushes back the Sentinel, back towards the mid. Farsi is grabbing that power point now, so. Probably wasn't worth it for Bum 9 to take it rather than fight. Heretics dipping in, maybe they are. Lots of QQ coming in from Double Guardians. Guide up on the Banshees from the Farsi. She goes back to capping. Heretics got messed up. Chaos Lord gets a decent kill the week given the circumstances, but has to run. Yeah, a little bit sloppy from Bum 9. But all they lost were a bunch of heretics, I guess. Uh oh. Carlos is going to fall over, I think. In the first engagement, Warlock's on retreat bar. Down he goes, and there's that Synapse Backlash as the Hive Tyrant falls. West side, Warboss falls. Big fella's having a rough time on the red team. Only Bum 9 can stay alive. Here's some Daka. Sluggers get the cap and ran. Sentinel gets repairs. Double Sentinels here for the Super 7. Can be incredibly effective, but you need to your micro on point. And you need to pray to the Dawn of War 2 parting gods that are very dark, deep in the warp, that the Sentinels don't do something insanely weird. Only one, only one Guardsman to support them with repairs is double CSM with Eternal War for Bum 9. Eldar capping up this central VP, no, central power, sorry, nobody going for that Western VP. Oh, here comes the Inquisitor to grab it, I think. She's got a decent amount of XP here. Must be quite a lot on... The Farseer, I guess, because all those heretics that died. She almost got half a bar. Who's going to come and get this war boss? Hive Tyrant is up. Chaos Lord doing some good work. Going to get a level if they can get the war boss, but it's quite far away. Sentinel's breaking everything. Sure, he can kind of on the field for Triumph on that eastern side. Kicking off in the mid, it is. Chaos Lord's taking a bunch of damage already. Kill the weak. Is pretty well dodged actually by Xenotech. Here come Heretics though with an aspiring champion for some revenge. And they are tearing up the Banshees. Can they get them? Grenades go flying in. Banshees, I think. Nope. Nope. Why did I say words? It doomed to them and they go down. Heretics coming in, swinging, and the double Eternal War CSM really ripped them up. The grenades are nice, but miraculously, Heretics still have four models with the aspiring champion in there. Crossbow bolt pistol up by C for the Inquisitor. It's uh, the pretty awesome crippling volley, there it is. Doesn't seem like the Chaos Lord has caught him, so he's too far out. And Rosarius on the way gives her an energy shield in the accessory so slot. I hear Banshees yelling, it must be Triumph. They are okay. Former Gaunts are unscathed. You've lost the indicator for Carlos the Hive Tower. Hunter's got some Ravenous up. Burrowing units that have some powerful weaponry. Starts off with ranged weapons, but you can send them into melee and do some good work. You can also get a specialized melee upgrade. Warlock's in there. He's going after the Hive Turret, though. Surely he should be tying up the Ravenous. Now fighting some Cormagaunts. Cormagaunts get messed up by Guardians. What are these guys buffed by? Was it the Far oh, the Farseer. Couldn't see her for a second. Farseer put Guide on them. Farseer, by the way, has the Doombringer. Good power back here from Hunter. Everything now being suppressed though. Gonna have to back off. Hive current. Still quite healthy, backs off. Raveners didn't want to take a chance in dropping a model there. Back to the west side. 
Chaos Lord levels to two. Inakura's back to their feet. The war boss going for boss pole. Okay, Banshee's yelling again. Triumph on the chase against some Termigants east side. Eastern power is red. Western VP turning red. Not a lot of VP swing in tier one here. Players starting to think about their tier two. Xenotech is replacing their Howling Banshees. Maybe we'll see Spirit Stones to help them out this time. Double Sentinel still stomping around being annoying. You have Artillery Spotters and a Heavy Weapon Spot. I like this tier one. Guardsmen into double Sentinels and then Spotters and Heavy Weapons. A lot of stuff to manage, especially combined with the Inquisitor's gear, but could be pretty cool. Back to the mid, Eldar are stabilizing with some shields and stuff. East side, grenade on the approaching Hormogons, nicely done by Triumph, and they do get away. Shuriken pulls back to set up. Banshee's yelling, crippling poison on the road, and they have to roll out. Thought some time for the Shuriken to set up though. Saw a Destructor in there too. Warlock seems a little bit indecisive, just pokes at the Hormogons and then runs away. Oh, that was Seismic Roar, I think. Yes, it was. Rending panels are up for the Hive Tyrants. And that was Improved Synapse, wasn't it? It was. Back to the mid. Yeah, the War Boss is Boss Poling. All oh, that orange glow effect is from the Boss Pole. Gives you more health and suppression resistance. And, hey, we have an Enhanced Custom Shooter. Awesome. Shooting Good is a pretty nice name for an ability of an orc, I think. Artillery Spot is throwing a smoke in. Sending their smoking, I guess. Orcs looking for a flank, are they? Or just doubling up for the power bash? Are you gonna follow Kasuga? Kasuga is following the orcs. They're running to chaos though, might get pincered here a little bit. Very quick to back off the sentinels there, as you see, that's really well managed. Double see a simple turn of war though. With a little bit of a flank, Banshee's gets in with the howl. We have what aspect of our fleetness for, for Xenotech here. Heretics are idle. You just bash the nose. Looks like they want to cap it. They're shooting good on the shuriken. Artillery spotters. Oh, it's big smoke there. Into grenades. That was cool. Nicely dodged though by Inokura. I don't think a single model got hit there. Triple shooters. Oh, sorry. Quad shooters for all of the Daka. Where's the last squad there? By the back of base. Do they all have knob leaders and big shooters as well? Holy crap, they do. Oh, well, Farsi is down on the east side. Grenade kills one Termogun, but there's a Brood Nest there up from the Hive Current to reinforce things. A little bit of health regen on it as well. Ravenous might want to back off. Not sure why they're so far up shooting the gen, especially at that much health. Want to get that DPS on it, I guess. Is someone coming for the Farsi? They'll get her eventually, I'm sure. Look at the war boss go off the field. It's a big retreat from them. You see the shooters now huddling around the brood nest, which they can use as allies. Got some spotter smoke. Shuriken needs to move up. Can they flow through the east side now, the blue team? Once they get rid of this, they might want to get that power bash back. Double missile sentinels can be super powerful at the start of tier two when people aren't expecting it. If you can hit both the volleys from those two sentinels on like a huddled up group of marines or something. It really kicks their ass. And she's having a field day on retreating orcs. Maybe Inokura should have took them up the east side when they saw all this stuff coming in so they retreated a little bit safer but I think they all got out. Yep, they all got out. There's that sentinel doing its thing. Chaos Space Marines with Eternal War and Aspiring Champion. These guys with Marco Zincha and Aspiring Champion. Hey, Banch is yelling. Was it you guys, it was you guys. Triumph also has Aspect of Fleetness. Trying to get that Eastern contested power back towards the West. Triple the Sentinels, but they aren't decapping stuff. Wow. That didn't even hit Flush. Look at the damage it did. That is a crazy amount of damage. They are taking a lot though from the Mark of Zinch CSM. Those Inferno Bolts are really powerful against heavy infantry armor, which is what Sentinels use. And they still only have a single Guardsman squad to keep them alive with repairs. Here comes the Chaos Lord. Found the Inquisitor. Got his Lightning Claws up. Not messing around anymore with Armor of the Inferno. 
and the Servo Skull in play for the Inquisitor. Hammer of Witches and Fleas back to the east side. Red Team pushing through. Tyrant Guard on the field for Hunter. I feel like it's been a while since I've seen a Tyrant Guard stomping around. Love those guys. They can be spawned in by the Hive Tyrant's global abilities. Maybe that's what they did. Into a Venom Brood, it looks like. With some ranged synapse. Do they have it already? Nope. Probably will get it though with Ravenous and Double Terminals there. Carlos the Hive Tyrant is on the VP. Keeping the pressure up. Is there another Brood Nest anywhere? I don't think so. Aren't they like... I think they're 150 red now or something. Got the decap. That's enough. Just backing off a little bit here. Might get flanked by Xenotech. Banshee's on the prowl. Dark Creeper's on the way for Triumph and Xenotech. Triumph already has some Dark Creepers too. West side. Gonna turn red, it looks like. Big retreat from the Orc. Trying to get on the power, I think. And there's a bunker up there now. Back towards the mid. Red team keeping the pressure on, thanks to Hunter. Here's the missiles. Kasuga's back down to two Sentinels. I guess the Orc's got one. Understandable, I guess. Triple four to three, three, seven. All can of hit those heretics. That was only two missiles. And it hurt. Yeah, if you keep moving, they're basically not going to hit you unless, the, uh, unless they can ground target really well. Weird boy on the field for Inokura. Warp head on the way. We've got the war path already up. Anything else for the war boss? Nope, still level one as well. Dark Creeper's ready to damage some super heavy infantry with this Tyrant Guard in play. Gotta keep moving though. Tyrant Guard is still pushing up. Warlock with a Witchblade of Furnace. And we do have the ranged synapse now. 403 to 337. Imperial Slash, pretty effective. But the Hive Tyrant wasn't happy with that. Got a good special in. Bit of damage onto the Tyrant Guard now. In amongst the Shuriken, takes it out. Triumph not paying attention to their Shuriken. I think they were watching their Banshees there. Dark people also need to back off. And now there's a Shield Wall for the Tyrant Guard. Meanwhile, the Orcs on the Rampage. Look at this Warpath. Boss Cold helping everything out, of course. Tons of Daka on the Heavy Weapon Squad that's inside the garrison. They don't seem to care. We're shooting it anyway. And there's Zap on those guards. When will it jump into the garrison? It did. It's just, it was rendered in a weird place, but I believe it was on the garrison unit there. 369 to 337. Tier 3 for Bum 9, tier 3 for Hunter. Lots of damage to the orc units there. Bunch of reinforcing to do. Oh, they got Zap, the Zap jump to them while they were retreating. Carlos gets the cap on that wreck point, then runs away. Current guard backing off. Heretics capping the eastern uh, power. Bum 9, I don't think Bum 9 got any other units up, right? Just upgraded the crap out of their stuff. And their Chaos Lord too, Icon of Corn is in, was recently buffed to 2%. From 1.5. Great synergy with the lightning claw since they attack so fast. Back to the mid. Full power built up here for Bum 9. Can they defend it though? That was a special. I thought they were going to use the destructive strike thing. I was going to say, when are you going to go after the Banshees? The CSM needs some help. Destructive strike, where is it? Didn't use it there to disrupt them and get them off the CSM a bit. Level 3. A lot of damage though it is that they're gonna see burn. But Hammer of the Witches comes in and finishes off the Chaos Lord. Should have used that a little bit earlier. Big Spirit Stone Seal there I saw from Xenotech. The spiritual rights. Calgary thrown in by the Inquisitor. Look at the speed of these orcs though. Using it on ranged units, which is weird. But quite fun. It's like a, a rolling ball of Daka. Or boss has found something to smack. It's a shuriken. Wait, did they smack? Oh, they retreated. Doom is up on them, that's why. 308 to 337. The orcs seem to just like run through the mid. Very, very jolly and excited. Take a bunch of damage and run away. I like it. Triumph down to three units. Goes tier three. 
Hunter really has kept the pressure up on the eastern edge. Good shot from the weird boy. Not going for the decap though. But Creeper's in trouble. There's the seismic war. Can't remember how much damage the weird boy does in melee. I think it's half decent. And he does have a good special attack as well. Kind of slams his staff on the ground and everything goes flying. Banshee's yelling. Old psychic storm in there as well from the Farseer and her rune armor. Decapped mid power. Double mark of Zinch. Park their feet. Throw out the DPS. Banshee's getting destroyed. There's a warp throw. Not into anything in particular, just to annoy them and disrupt them and get them in a little bit of trouble. I have Tarrant's here to help them out though. But now damage is going to pour in on this guy. Carlos has to retreat. Level 3. What about a war boss? Still level 1. Level 3 Inquisitor, level 2 Farseer, and a level 3 Warlock. And they grabbed that central power, stole it from Bum 9's gens. Everyone tier 3 now? No, Inakura is still in tier 2. The west side, done well on the west side, but it's very red. Is that Sluggers capping down here? No, it's Heretics from Bum 9. They've been around capping, haven't they, on, on both sides? Guardians hitting level 3. Swarm Lord about to hit the field for Hunter. Just missed with those missiles. Managing 2 is difficult enough. They went for 3 Sentinels. Still have 2 up. What level is the original one? Level 3. 240 to 337. Orcs doing their best to get in. Big old retreat from Inokura. Oh, they, I think they wiped. One of the shooters went down. They're down to two shooter boy squads. Great hunt. Keen one on the way for Bomb Nine. There's a foot of Gork. Smack. Knockback stun and a whole lot of damage. It's a really devastating ability if you can hit it. It's a big wind up though and telegraph. Triple two to three, three, seven. Two to one for red. They're looking quite strong coming out the super units now. Doom up on the Chaos Lord. Taking 30% more damage. Lost the indicator for them. So they went down. Same with all three red heroes, I think, yeah. Hate that replay bug. What is this? Oh, it's a Swarm Lord in base. Wondered where it was. Very strong close combat unit, as you may expect. It's got all the bone swords. Also grants a speed and reinforcement synapse. You see all these tyranids speeding up as it gets closer. Very powerful unit. Chaos Lord gets a decap and runs away. CSM will grab that power in the mid, I guess. There's a warp throw into missiles. And now Dark Creepers plant their feet. Should be shooting at the Venom Group, surely. The heavy infantry and there is synapse creature. But they're, they're trying to focus down the Ravna group here. Banshee's got on the Venom Brood a bit. That was very odd. I expected them to go straight for the Venom Brood. Maybe they wanted to go for something that was actually a threat in that situation in terms of damage output. Venom Brood are specialized anti vehicle units. Swarm Lord chasing after the Banshees. They're trying to use Fleet to get away here. Keeping it moving. Don't have any anti vehicle though. Sentinels are... Oh, they're switching to their cracks. Those are the crack themselves, but the, the Swarm Lord is leeching life and all that stuff. Look at this through the mid. Hiring God. Big Spirit Stones heal. Orcs just being thrown into base. Most likely to die and free up the population for Inokura, yeah. I assume they're going to just replace everything with Flash Kids. Here comes a great unclean one. Triple cap for the red team. They are looking dominant here. Super 7 has a Bane Blade. Where the heck is it? Where is the Bane Blade? It's on its way over. Big cloud of flies. It's not as bad as it looks in terms of damage, because you do get that damage resistance when you're in base. But obviously, you can't cap the map when they're locked in base like this. But is this going to backfire? The Great right Unkeeper is going to go down. There's a rocks on base. Down goes the Great Unking one. You know, crew have basically lost their army freeing up population, I assume. Bum 9 has plenty of resources to get something. Battle wagon on the way. This guy's going to blow up. Boom. That would have done tons of damage to any enemies that were close. 
red team grabbing the contested VP. They didn't get the natural in that, or did they just get taken back? It might have just got taken back. Chaos are attacking. Rezos. Casting for Suga for the revives. Looks like they're going over to do so. Farsi did go down in base. 84 to 337. Lots of VPs to make up, but maybe blue team on the front foot now. Because Inokura's got a lo lot of recovery to do. Commando's on the way. They cancelled the battle wagon. Needs some capping power out there, I guess. Baneblade now on the west side. Can it lock this down? Nicely timed the Molo shot. Messed up the heretics. Even though they retreated, they got messed up. We've got Chaos Terminators. We have an Avatar as well. They go for the auto cannon. Good damage to all targets in range. Avatar is in play. Provides some powerful buffs to nearby infantry. And is a powerful combat unit in its own right. Provides defensive and offensive buffs to anything nearby. Main play too far up for my liking and too close to the middle as well. Much easier to get hit from multiple sides when you take your stuff towards the mid. Super fat. Vehicles like the Bane Blade try to keep them towards the edge of the map. Blue team steal the central power. They have got on the map pretty well. Need to grab this wreck point here. It's fully matured. There we go. They are grabbing it. We got a last cannon for Bum 9. Help take out the Bane Blade and mess up the Avatar too. Triumph with a Seer Council on the way. And with Avatar support, they're going to be super powerful. Eldritch. Tyranids looks like Hunter did spot it though. Swarmlord wants to grab a go at the Avatar, but there's too much stuff here for him to deal with. Leeching Essence trying to get away. Being snared. Oh, snared by a last cannon back there. Was it? I don't know what was snaring him. That's weird. The last cannon I saw was from the Bane Blade. That wouldn't have done it. I'm not sure it slowed down the uh, Swarmlord. 66 to 305. Avatar being slowed by the last cannon of bomb 9. Unless there was a friendly fire shot from this last cannon or something. That is possible. 59 to 305. Wailing Doom. It's the Chaos Lord and one of the Terminators. Bane Blade back. Backing up the Avatar. He's going towards the mid again, though. How many times have we seen a Bane Blade push up the map and not last very long? Stormtroopers being pulled in by the Inquisitor. Red Team have the west side back, and Blue Team only have 40 VPs, and Inokura now has quad commandos. And they're all getting the knob leaders for the rockets. They can all cap fast and throw fire at you. That's going to get some decent shots, but now it gets smoked. What's wrong with you guys? Was that a sail? Oh, they got Kogata stunned, I think. Oh, maybe it was pretty much after it. 25 to 3, zero fire size with raw. Only hit the single Guardian Warlock for the Exarch, I suppose. Tyranids. Mark seems to get a foot in the mid. Let's see what these commandos can do now. They can go after the Bane Blade. Looks like maybe they are. Are they being spotted? I don't think so. Nothing here to spot them. They are forced to retreat. Down to 24 VPs. They need to get on this contested right now. And they need to flow through the mid. Yeah, Eldar going for it. With Triumph and Seer Council and Banshees, Dark Creepers, Avatars back at base. Seer Council have an aura of their own, which is ranged damage resistance, which they themselves benefit from. So if you get an Avatar and a Seer Council, lots of buffs. Everyone's very happy in Eldar Land. Oh, there is a... There is a blue team Laz Cannon. That's probably what... Oh, maybe the... Yeah, that's, that must have been what hit the Swarm Lord. Just didn't spot it for some reason. So I'm bad. Raffin of Brood now have their melee upgrade. And they're burrowing at level 3. Look how quickly they move when they're burrowed. Pretty scary. 
gonna go after this club of uh, Dark Creepers here. But the Avatar's there. Can they get close enough to be spotted? I don't think so. Two to one for blue. Holding the west side for Gartus. Misses up the Orcs. Bum nine. Is that double last cannons? It is double last cannons now. Chaos Lord is shot to pieces and has to run. Another shot. It's a good shot on the last cannon there. Because they're trying to tie up this last cannon. And Dark Creepers tear up the CSM. One of them drops. Kind of caught flat footed here, Bum Knife. Little bit. With Inakura off the field. There's a single for blue. Can they hold on? Got to get their natural back. They are on the contested. It's Providence Warlock trying to grab it. Walk throw into Ethereal Slash. Goes after the Venom Brood now. No, what's he up to? I was to get another one. And then jumps on him, of course. And then gets a special. And then runs. Fair enough. Double cap for blue team. Your boss is here. Power pouring stuff up, though. Now charging. So replaced his boss pole with the angry bits. Makes him a better personal combatant. Tearing through these dark creepers. Hard boys on him as well from the global bar. So resisted a fair few swings from the giant av avatar sword. Should be okay, I think, retreating out. Oh, not if he stops. We have a fire prism on the field for the Xenotech. I think Inokura is going to get away. Yeah, the war boss. No! Why did I say that? I think the Doom. The fact that the war boss stopped and the Farseer putting Doom up got him down. I'm sorry, Inokura, that was my fault. It's my fault just for saying you'd get away. What are these fellas up to? You bashing power? It's right there. Oh, they're going for base. I think they're going for base turrets here. And the 24 uh, VPs. Can the blue team afford to pull stuff over there? To defend. Big Spirit Stones heal. Blue team seem to be holding this VP quite well now. Mondo's in that southeast corner, I think. Messing up the base turrets. Doom up on the Terminators. Almost took them all out. Here's an Imperial Abyss, though, from Bum9. It's a good work. That was Xenotech's army that got caught. And the Witches on the Terminators, and they go down. It was not a good, a good game to bring Terminators into, I think. There's a Inquisitor right here. The crossbow Bolt Pistol was already in her hand. And when you've got Doombringer going on. 24 to 148, maybe that's why... They went for the auto cannon rather than the claws to get through infantry. At least they can stay at range. What did they do over here then? They got one of the base gens, the uh, base turrets, I think. But that was it. And then a big old retreat from Inokura, I guess. Oh, they're getting messed up in their own base now. Rocket run. Took out three of the commandos, just saw the end of it there. Probably a demolisher cannon or something as well. 24 to 107. What a crazy game. Inokura is now down to single commando squad. A level 5 war boss though. And a decent amount of resources. Bum 9 now gets the plague marines up. Demon Russes with the Super 7. Can Booting hold on? Team going through the mid, maybe. Swarm Lord has done really well for Hunter, but has to back off. Does have vehicle armor, so isn't massively threatened by the Banshees and the Sea Council, but it is a lot of power melee and the Avatars there, of course, to buff them up and get his own hits. Well, that's going to hit in the Fire Prism? I don't think it was. Nice friendly fire on the Farsi is going to get it killed. Yep, gets her killed. She did manage somehow to put Doombringer on the Chaos Lord when she got up. I guess it's something. Taking a lot of damage too. That's kind of gets a shot. Plague Marines get a shot. There's a grenade though. Wipes up the Havocs. Can the Plague Marines finish it off? They do operate really well under suppression. Should have put them moving sooner, although it doesn't seem like they would have had time to get another shot off there. 
GG says bomb nine. Maybe they'll concede. Inokura going for some crazy plays here, I think. Obviously not taking the game super seriously. Went for quad shooters and then intentionally killed them. And then went for quad commandos and tried to get base turrets. That's what happens when people have been playing this game forever. You find ways to have fun. Heavy armor is up. 2018 hit points. What is this? It's a whole bunch of Tyranids is what that is. Swarm Lord is quite low on health. But um, I guess they have Leech Essence in their back pocket. Are they going for the natural VP maybe? Maybe. Super 7 bringing Mecha Knight Division. Main blade and double Lehman Russes. And we're going to see Execution. It's good versus infantry. Can be good versus that Dob Squad. Dob Squad is amazing. But you need their upgrades to really shine. And it's expensive and it's a lot of stuff. Not to mention what the Inquisitor can do to them in terms of control here. The advantage is yelling. Trying to defend their VP. Fighting some Venom Brood. Raven is in there as well. They're no match for Seer Council and Banshees in the same fight, I think. They're all trying to decap, I think, for the turn boots. Swarm Lord chasing off the Banshees. 24 to 25 on the VPs. Still a 2 to 1 for Blue. There's a warp throw to get them off the cap there. Zero Slash hits the edge of them. Turn formation. But a Dark Creeper is to think about. Made a move at least. Swarm Lord still in play. Oh no, here comes an Avatar. A couple of swings of that sword might do it. There's one. There's two. One more would do it, but I think the Swarm Lord's got away. Quite quick, that guy. This is seems quick from the way his, uh, his movement is animated. But Blue Team have this with a 2 to 1. They held on really well. Or oh, maybe not. Speaking too soon again. War Boss is capping. But surely they can't get this done. Hammer for Witches on him. There's so many guns pointed at the War Boss right now. And down they go. And the Inquisitor's capping. Oh, was capping. Or well, the Avatar decided to. Center across the map. Swarm Lord is still around, now fighting a Warlock. That's an Eldritch, I think. Yep. Swarm Lord lives, does live. Now tries to kill the Warlock from daring to use the Eldritch Storm and gets him too. 24 to 4. They should finish. Oh, they've just conceded now. Fair enough. Topsy turvy game. Level 8 Inquisitor, very, very solid on this west side was Kasuga. Xenotech with a level 8 Farseer. And a level 7 Warlock here. Carlos the Hive Tyrant, level 5. Chaos Lord, level 8. Did some good work with those Lightning Claws. And the War Boss, level 5. Big old power core at the end. Cleaved through plenty of stuff. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.